Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to Sinarth, the cold breath in Vault of the Incarnates on normal and heroic difficulty. Look, it's a big ice spider! Phase 1 has you chasing her up the levels of this spire, and Phase 2 begins when you reach the top. Web Blast stacks a debuff on her tank, swap every 8-ish stacks or when the debuff falls off. There's one big Frost Breath Arachnid add on each level. Dodge their Cone Breath and kill them first before their chilling aura stacks out of control. That add and the boss will both make ice puddles. Ice only hurts a little bit, but it is slippery, so avoid it when you can. Enveloping webs marks a couple of people to drop webs under their feet for 6 seconds. Touching webs stacks up a debuff, and 10 stacks will get you into trouble. Run the webs out of the way. Caustic spiderlings are these little bitty ads, and when they die they do a little eruption. That will clear webs on the ground and remove web debuffs from anybody it hits. Kill them on top of webs to clear up some space, and dip into the death pops if you have a lot of web on you. You might want some of those webs though, because Gossamer Burst will try to slide you off the edge. Run against the pole, and if you're in danger of going down, you can touch a web to pick up a stack of the slow. You might not need it, but it will give you some traction in a pinch. Chilling Blast is just a spread mechanic, spread out when you get the ice circles. Dodge swirls and follow the boss up the levels as she leaves, and when she finally hits the top, it's time for Phase 2. Interrupt her apex of ice and don't get left behind, the lower levels get toasted with permafrost. The ice circle spread continues, but this time it will leave behind a glacial plume to avoid. Spread out and watch where you're going. Webs are different now. Suffocating webs just plain hurts a few people for 6 seconds, and then kicks them back and gives them maximum web stacks. The baby spiders are still spawning, so just kill those on top of webbed players to clear their debuff. If you get the webs in this phase, make sure your back is not to the cliff. Speaking of the cliff, Repelling Burst will push players away from the boss. Watch where you're standing and don't get knocked off. And you're taking increasing frost damage for the rest of the fight, so use whatever you have left and finish her off. On normal, that's it. On heroic, a 10 stack of web debuffs is a 30 second stun, up from the slow that you dealt with on normal. You do the fight in the same way, it's just worse if you mess up. And that's Senarth. Thanks for watching, I've got more raid guides if you want them, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.